Hello there, I'm Babadroy, and today I'm going to be telling you about the discovery of the periodic table. There were 92 elements in the periodic table today, but only 55 elements were in the periodic table in the early 1800s. That is the century that we're going to be talking to you about today, because that is where all the famous scientists we're going to be talking to you about today are from. Hello there. I'm Babbage Raleigh. Good to see you again. I'm going to be talking to you about John Dalton, an amazing scientist who was fascinated in the weather. So fascinated, he kept a 57-year diary on it. What he discovered in his 57-year diary was that all compounds were similar. He came up with the theory of atoms. Now, he knew about atomic weights, so what he tried to do was to arrange a table by weights. Hello there, I'm Babbage Raleigh, and now I'm going to talk to you about another fascinating man, John Newton's. He thought of the elements like a musical scale, called them an octave, but he got laughed at a lot. But what we discovered was he was on to something. He was so smart with his idea that he got a crater on the moon named after him. I'm Babbage Rock, and for the final time in this documentary, I'm going to be telling you about a fascinating scientist, the most important one of this whole documentary, Dmitri Mendeleev. Mendeleev was a very smart child, and what his mother decided to do was travel 1,300 miles with him just to get an education. Very dedicated. But what Mendeleev really discovered was how to order the periodic table in a moment of genius. He wrote an element and its weight on cards. Then he ordered them by Newton, and that took him two years. But he made an amazing periodic table. Dmitry Mendeleev had a stroke of genius. He was also able to fill in the missing gaps for elements that haven't been discovered yet and find their chemical properties. Watching our documentary over and out from the great, brilliant Abbott Roll. Sorry? <laughs>